How does the Kuno's electoral system work? What are the advantages of the Kuno's platform blockchain over other blockchains? We will tell you about all this right now. The structure of the Kuno's blockchain network is being updated to be able to process at least 4,000 transactions per second. This volume of transactions can meet the needs of large election systems. All the active mining pools in the Kuno's network should meet a certain criteria to be able to mine blocks, including the minimum amount of credit as specified in system's rules. On the other hand, network difficulty is controlled using special formula. All these make it harder for a 51% attack to occur. In any voting center, a new and exclusive address is given to any voter in addition to the right to vote, a certain balance of CCXX coins. The totality of these balances come from a certain source which are provided to be constant for all the election transactions, known as the Markle route. This balance is constantly sent to an exclusive address to each voting center. In any election system, there is an ID for any voter, this ID can come from the national ID number or any other criterion such as a biological criterion. This ID is registered as a separate transaction in the blockchain in the form of a message when the voting right is transacted. This is so it becomes fully transparent who has used their voting right already. The registration validity of this ID should be authenticated by the organizers of the election outside the blockchain network. Based on the number of the registered IDs in certain time periods, the balance of the voting center's wallet will be recharged. Transferring votes, special balance in the exclusive address, can be done via special voting wallets. Transaction ID and raw transaction are shown in the form of a QR code which can be recorded. In this way, any voter can make sure of how voting takes place. Mining pools in the CCXX network are adjusted in a way that they cannot play a role in registering transactions in blocks. Thus, all the receiving transactions, that are valid, will be recorded in the first block available. As the voting process ends, the balance of voting centers and the main center will become non-transferable. Although, a certain time period in order to guarantee all the transactions are fully received, by the chosen candidate's account, will be in place, a special block explorer will be dedicated to this system. All the valid votes will be shown in this explorer. The votes that are cast outside the defined time period or come from unauthorized sources will not be counted as part of the final balance, and in the end the valid results will be announced. 